Hey, I'm Mark Oldman here in Napa Valley for the Napa Valley Wine Auction. I'm actually up on beautiful Spring Mountain uh, at the Marston Family Vineyard. This beautiful place here with the beautiful Liz Marston. Hello, Liz. So good to have you here. <laughs> well, it's a pleasure. I don't ever want to leave. You know, we wine drinkers, when we go to that big cellar in the sky, I think it looks a lot like this, but this is better. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about the secret ingredient in a successful winery. I mean, you guys have the best grapes, perfectly sloped uh, uh, angles here, the soil, the sunlight. Um, everything is maximized in a natural sense. Mm. And then you have incredible knowledge, including yourself and your dad and your family, about wonderful wine making techniques mm. and, and you have the integrity. But what a lot of people don't realize is there's one other element, a key to a successful winery. And this, you can't, this is inexorable. <laughs> it is a special winery dog. We have For our example, fellow right here. Right here. Off. <laughs> this is Tucker, the Marston family winery dog. And I am so in love with him, and I'm so convinced that your incredible wine owes in part to Tucker. Oh, so. without a doubt. Yeah. So Tucker is about three and a half, and he, from day one, his official role has been as a greeter. Okay. And he's actually on the website. You know, we have our different titles and roles, different family members, and Tucker is up there as the official winery greeter. And it's something he takes very seriously. He'll sit out on the front porch just waiting, and I'll say things like to him, you know, like, are you ready to go to work? Right. And he'll start doing look de loos <laughs> So it's hard to be in a bad mood. And then as soon as, you know, guests get up here winding up our long road, and then they're greeted by this guy, who, uh, you know, is bounding out, usually with a bandana on. Right. That Does he have different bandanas? He has a wardrobe. A wardrobe. <laughs> a full-on wardrobe. Why? Because a special winery dog has to look the part. <laughs> he has one actually just for harvest. Okay. And so the guys see him, and they call him El Bandito, and he'll be, like, <laughs> bombing down the vines. He has to say hi to everybody. But, uh, uh, let me ask you, speaking of, of the vines, so yeah. he's, he's a great greeter, but what about all the possible annoyances and pests that can come onto your land? Yep. Does he... So he, that's another role of his. Yeah. He's a busy guy. So we have, you know, all the wonderful wildlife as we're up in the, the mountains here. Yeah. So the main one that we're concerned about from a viticultural standpoint would be the deer and wild turkeys. And we have a wonderful flock of turkeys, maybe about 40 of them. And he will just come, you know, I think originally was to say hi and right. befriend them. He's the sweetest guy. <laughs> and now it's become kind of this, this mission where now he chases them away and the deer as well. And that's good. You don't want those in the vineyard. You really yeah. don't. Now, speaking of other canine-influenced viticultural practices, when you're blending the wine, when you're when you're tasting the possible blends, um, it might, you know, Tucker's considered part of the family. Absolutely. Does, does he ever get a taste? He's more of a cheese guy. A cheese So he likes, you know, if we're doing tastings, that's what he's interested in. You know, maybe there's going to be a cracker that falls or a little slice. But he's present for everything, of he course, is. for the blendings, for everything. And his yeah. spirit's there, and it's probably <laughs> encouraging people to work like a dog, because he's a dog. Oh, this enthusiasm. It doesn't matter if it's the middle of the night or whatnot. He's there, and he's excited. Yeah. That is so cool. So you agree with me that yeah. every great winery needs a winery need. dog. Because you also, too, what it, it kind of shares with your guests another aspect of you, and you're the family. And, you know, you can really learn a lot from people, and I think it also... This sweet animal puts you at ease and makes you feel part of the family. Oh. Kind of adds to the experience. And we actually have neighbors of ours, and I think this is terrific. And we're I'm working on my dad to see if we can do this. But um, they expense all the uh, kibble and vet bills as marketing and security. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that that's is great. brilliant. <laughs> well, the many many uses of a special winery exactly. dog. I love that, Liz. Thank you so much. Oh, it's a pleasure. By the way, I'll just give you a little plug here. We've been drinking this Marston Family Vineyard 2008 high-end, delicious, mountain-grown Cabernet. Um, I don't know a person who wouldn't be seduced by this. Oh, so thank cheers. you for sharing. Cheers and arf and drink bravely. <laughs>
the secret weapon to a great winery, aren't you? Yes, look at this head, block head, special shaped head. More head shaped like this, better grapes. Oh. <laughs>